Hello and welcome to this video. It's a video which is going to explain you about learning Python for intermediate basics and advanced level with the help of Python Institute and their e-learning and assessment system called as OpenEDG. So let's get started. We have to go to a website edube.org which is the official website for the Python Institute to learn Python programming for beginners, advanced, as well as for intermediate people. So in this page, you will be able to see all the resources that are available from the Python Institute, starting from the beginner or the intermediate or the advanced values. Here, it is also explained that certifications are also possible. And as a part of the academy, we have Python level one and associate level certifications available for the students without any charges or any cost. So let's get started to learn how to work on with the academy. So initially, we can go to the academy and input our username and password, which is the email address given by the administrator of the academy. In my case, I have the administrator account as a different one, and this is my user account as a teacher. So let me just go ahead put my IDs and password and then I will try to log into the system. So here comes the first page which tells me that I could have personally testing possible for myself. I can take my exams. I can do many practices here and I can study more courses in order to enrich my knowledge. But we have to go for this teaching part so let's switch from here to the organizational account. Once I will go to the organizational account, it will change my organization to Chakra University College of Computing and IT. So here in this case, I will have three sections. That is the profile, which is going to tell me the details about the university to which I belong, and then the learning center, including the classes and students. So let's have a class. So this is an old class which I have archived. And now I'll try to create a new class for the fresh semester for Python basics. I can have class for Python essentials or basics at the same time. So let's say we have Python programming basic. That is the first version. And I will put the description. And let me put the instructor as myself. And here I have the practicals and theory. I can also provide the start and stop dates for the semester, but in this case, I will leave it as a blank and let me create a new class. So we will see that there is a new active class and now I can click on manage the class and I could see the learning management system pop-ups itself. If you will see up here, there is a grade book for the students. There is a timetable, of course. I can create new times when the class is going to be, and what subject, and what I'm going to teach, and if there are any personal links or something like that. So any teacher who uses the academy can try to put his personalized timings as well as his personal schedule inside this. You can have the discussions that the students can do in the form of a thread. They can ask you questions. They can post answers. You can ask answers or questions, and you can post the answers respectively. There can be messages that can be done to the participants, and there is furthermore. But at this point, let's say we want to add some students. So I can export the emails, manage the enrollments, and invite a student. So let me just try to invite a student. So here, I can invite one by one, or if I want, I can import it from a file. So let's say I try to import it from a file all of a sudden. So here is a sample file which is given to you, and you can download the sample file in your system personally. In the sample file, if you will open up the file here, you will be able to see that the format is simple. You just have to mention the details about the email addresses one below the other. So let me just write down one email address for one of my students. And since this is CSV, I recommend that please remove any hyperlinks so that it might not get affected in any ways. So let's say 
we want to save this file and we save this let me close this and now let me close it and save it on my desktop as sample file 1 and I will close it now all right so I'll try to import and he says that you have to click on and find out where is your file so let me go to my desktop and let's say I have the sample file 1 and I will open it and as soon as I will try to click on import he's going to read the email addresses from the CSV file and yes you can see that an invitation has been sent to the user for my course at this time so if I want I can just finish up and tell the students to check their emails just in case if some student lose the email invitation we can resend the invitation from here so once it is done all the students can connect with us and the course personally so if you can see for the questions uh, students sorry you will be able to find out this student is available and if you will click on the activities you can find out in this course what is the progress of the student you can find out his grade book and you can find out or you can prepare the timetable for him so there will be some act uh, when he is last active what is his status did he finish this part did he finish this part did he finish the quiz and it will go on same like this for all the items that he is supposed to finish in this particular case so whenever he will finish one particular part it will be reflected and the final tests summaries and all the information will be available in this grade book very easily and professionally so this makes it really simple for us to teach a student with the help of edube.org and since we have a course completion as well as certification also done so all the students who are going to complete the courses under the name of Chakra University they will be able to receive the certificates also from the system itself so thank you very much for watching this video and I wish a very happy learning semester take care stay safe stay home thank you very much good day